Chapter 3 Gladiators! Jack and Annie hid behind a fruit stall. They waited for a moment, then peered around the corner. I don't see her, said Jack. Who was she? asked Annie. I don't know, but she looked nuts to me, said Jack. What's the book say about her? said Annie. She won't be in there, said Jack. Just look, said Annie. Jack sighed and pulled out the book again. To his surprise, he found a picture of the old woman. He read aloud, In Roman times, there were people who could see into the future and warn others about what they saw. These people were called soothsayers. See, she wasn't nuts, said Annie. She was giving us a warning, just like my nightmare. Don't pay attention to that stuff, said Jack. Soothsayers are from olden times. People from our time don't believe in them. Well, I do, said Annie. I'm sure something bad is about to happen. Jack sighed. Come on, we have to keep going. We have to find the lost library. Then we'll leave at once. We'd better, said Annie. They left the fruit stand and kept walking through the forum. Soon they came to a large building. Crowds were streaming in and out of it. Is that a library, said Annie? Let's look, said Jack. He looked in the Roman book. He found a picture of the building and read aloud. Most people in Pompeii did not have a bathtub at home, so they went daily to the public baths. Not only did people wash at the baths, but they also swam, played sports, and visited with their friends. That sounds like going to the pool, said Annie, but it's not a library. Let's keep walking. They kept walking until soon they came to a fancy building with large columns. Is that a library, said Annie? Jack found a picture of the building and read aloud. The people of Pompeii believe that many gods and goddesses rule the world. This is the temple of Jupiter, their chief god. In this temple, they prayed to Jupiter and offered him gifts. Today, we call the stories about Jupiter and other gods and goddesses myths. My teacher read myths to us, said Jack. I remember stories about Hercules and Apollo. Yeah, my teacher read them too, said Annie. I like stories about Venus and Medusa. Hey, maybe the story we're looking for is a myth, said Jack. Right, said Annie. Come on, hurry, let's keep looking. They left the forum and turned into a wide street. Jack gasped. In front of them was an incredible sight. Tall warriors with huge muscles were walking in a line. They wore fancy helmets and carried heavy shields. Soldiers, thought Jack. Then he saw that the warriors' feet were chained together, and guards walked with them. Gladiators, he whispered.